would be a wrong number. What? What? Dude, it's in the middle of the night. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, does Rita know that you're in town? Yeah, all right. Uh, I'm on my way. So what do we got? You, why don't we take this outside? No, really, it's okay. I'm fine. Where's the body? No, come on. I'm serious. Let's Chris, take it out. I'm fine. What's going on? Rita, the victim was Eric. Why, Eric? He called me after two. He said he was in trouble. He needed some help. I didn't get here in time. What do you mean? What happened? I came in over there, I heard gunshots. I came around those crates, and that's when I saw him. You sure you want to hear this? Just tell me. Eric had a gun, and he'd been gut shot. Did you get a look at the shooter? Ah, uh, when he fired the second one, I did. He hit Eric in the chest with a 357 Magnum. You get a good look at the guy? He's Latino. I'd say late 30s. 5'10", about 170 pounds. Had somebody waiting in the alley for him. I gave chase. He almost made a hood ornament out of me. You get plates? Partial. 67 Aqua Le Mans was reported stolen two days ago. Put an APB out. I don't believe this is happening. 
Look, I want you to go home. To do what? I, I just think you're better off in the orbit here. Where's Eric's body? Oh, Rita, that's... That's the weird part. When I got back here, his body was gone. So maybe he wasn't hurt bad. Maybe he was able to get away. Not from a 357 or the chest. Somebody carried him out of here. Got a trail of blood leading to the side door. Footprints. I don't think Eric was a size 13. Ten and a half. Okay, to get out of here. Sneak up on an angry woman with a loaded gun. I wasn't sneaking. How you feeling? Ah. Uh, well, besides can't eat, can't sleep, and can't think straight. Still shoot like hell. All I want to do is find that bastard. Do to him what he did to Eric. Well, Captain Lipschitz would like to see us in his office. Rita. Yeah. Hi, Captain. Good morning, Rita. How you doing? I've been better, thanks. Rita, this is Special Agent Pete Santos. He's with BATF. Hi. Sergeant Lance, you were personally involved with Eric Russell. Is that right? If you already know that, why are you asking? Lena Krell, Australian expatriate, lives here now, deals in black market weapons. So what's Eric's connection? I was hoping you'd tell me. Sorry, I can't. Three weeks ago, a shipment of MP5s was hijacked en route to Dade County Armory. Our information is that Lena Corral set up the heist. And Eric Russell made a deal to sell those guns to the Cartagena cartel. Not this guy, no way. Rita, when's the last time you saw Eric? About a month ago. This picture doesn't mean anything. He was probably working on a story or doing research. With Lena Corral. You're on a fishing trip here, Agent Santos. Eric Russell was a cop, and a good one, too. Well, there's a few New York cops that dispute that conclusion. All of them dirty. I'm familiar with that IAD investigation. Seems like Mr. Russell has a knack of turning up in the middle of nasty situations. I'm ex-NYPD. I checked. What she's telling you about Eric Russell happens to be the truth. Does the name Johnny Amanderez mean anything to you? Should it? Amanderez was Eric Russell's supervisor on the IAD sting. He quit the NYPD the same time as Eric. Came to work for us. His first assignment was to infiltrate Lena Krell's organization. Only it seems Ms. Krell made him a better offer. You mean he turned? We haven't seen him in six weeks. What makes you think he's still alive? One of our agents took this four days ago. Oh, man. What? I saw this guy at the plant. This is the guy that shot Eric. Excuse me. Rita. Yeah, forget it. Rita, are you okay? I'm feeling much better, thanks. You're not fooling anybody, you know. You've just had a terrible shock. 
Why don't you take the day? Nobody around here expects you to be superwoman. That's good, because I, I think they'd be really disappointed. Do me a favor. Go home. Let Chris cover for you, at least until you feel better. Is that an order, Captain? It's more like a friendly word of advice. So taken. Thanks. Rita. Yeah. Try to work with Santos. Just a second. Special delivery. Chicken soup. Italian penicillin. Don't you mean Jewish? Yeah. All right. Now, I was in the neighborhood at a basketball game, so I thought I would come by and feed a hungry partner. If you don't mind, actually, I think I would rather be alone. You sure? I wish I could make this whole thing easier for you. Thanks. I am going to be fine. So go have a good basketball game, OK? Piece of cake, man. <laughs> Check back with you later. OK. See you. It's got no O, no J, and definitely no D. <laughs> See you, man. All right, take it easy, fellas. All right, let's go, babe. Let me get the ball. Carry that weapon? Hey, use a basketball, save a life. Mm. How you feeling? Still haven't slept, crying at inopportune moments, but my chicken soup is great. Thanks. Well, trust Dr. Lorenzo. Check this out. I think I got an ID on the shooter. It's the same guy who was driving the getaway car the other night. How'd you find him? Well, I busted him a couple years ago when I was working vice. I knew that this guy looked familiar. Ramon Montoya. Mm -hmm. Got a sheet? Right. There. See, busted for possession to sell, served nine months. That's what I got him for. Arrested for DUI. This guy's taking a huge leap into accessory to murder, isn't he? Uh, not to mention attempted murder on a cop. <sighs> Good morning, sergeants. Santos, what can we do for you? Just looking for an update on your little encounter last night? Well, I'm alive. Thanks to a great chest pass I hear. Yeah, best one of my life. No, I, I think I got an ID on the getaway driver the other night. Montoya. Ramon Montoya, bug eyes, scraggly beard, ugly as sin. Are you a friend of yours? Never met the gentleman, but I know his boss. Johnny Amadeus. Lena Carell. Ramon was a driver last time I looked. Why well, say it's time we go rattle her cage? No, 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 not yet. Not until I get a break in the weapons case. Yeah, we're investigating a murder here, Santos. Look, I just don't want to blow the case against her by. By what? Two pesky homicide cops? Please, please, try and understand. We both have got jobs to do here. Just because the jobs are in conflict doesn't mean we have to be, does it? I think what my partner is trying to say is that we don't tell you how to do your job. 
All I'm looking for is a little cooperation. If you get a lead on Johnny, let me know before you take him down. Done. And uh, if you talk to Lena Carell, tread lightly. Try not to kill my hand. Homicide, Lance. You got it. Yeah. OK, I got it. You coming? Yeah. This is the car, huh? 67 Arc de Le Mans. Well, you certainly hit something. I guess that's why his arm was in a sling. Let the lab techs go over this. So, if you wanted to get a bullet removed from your body, yeah. and you didn't want to report it to the cops, where would you go? Inky. Inky. Sounds like Inky's got company. I do love a party. After you. No, really. You first. Oh. Well. Inky! What the? What the hell? Inky. You guys ever hear of the Fourth Amendment? You ever hear of exigent circumstances, Inky? You heard a scream from outside. You, you wouldn't be practicing medicine without a license now, would you, Inky? Oh, what, I can't do a little first aid? Hmm. What does that look like to you? Well, I'd say that looks about like three years. What do you think? Come on. Guys, these guys got no place else to go. They don't come to me, they die. You're a regular Mother Teresa. OK, OK, let's get pragmatic. You guys didn't come here just to pop me for one lousy bullet, did you? You recognize that bad boy? No, I can't say as I do. Wrong answer. Ow! Hey! Ow! What gives? You do. You see, if we nail Montoya, you're going to go down for accessory to murder. How does that sound? Give me five years. Five years, give me 10. 10 years, give me 20. Tw 20 years, going once, going okay, twice. OK, Yeah? Let's take off the bracelets, OK? Ah. OK. OK, the guy was here. Nine mil on the shoulder. was tore up pretty bad. Did the best I could for him. Um, he has an infection. But I was out of antibiotics, so I, hey, it's all legal. Get him from Mexico. Or from Drug Act, man. So? So he's coming back tomorrow for a shot. What time? What, what time? You think I take appointments tomorrow? Hey, look, it's 12 hours. Pick one. All right, Inky, this is what we're going to do. We're going to put you under surveillance until he shows up. Now, if he does not show up, or if you tip him off in any way whatsoever. I get it. I'm toast. <gasps> Burnt toast. You know, I mean, if you're not up to it, uh, you could wait here and I could go in or we could go in together. Uh... So what if he recognized you? You leave damage control to me, period. You know, they're here. Well, tell them to wait. OK. Now listen. I want you to lay low. I don't want you to call or come here again. I'll get your money. I'll get you out of the country. Just don't move till you hear from me. Do you understand that? Miss Quaid will see you shortly. You can wait in here. Check it out. Not be worried about crime. Hello. Sergeant Lance Homicide. This is my partner, Sergeant Lorenzo. I'm Lena Crow. Homicide. On the side, he's in your twist. Don't sound too surprised. Oh, I've been harassed by so many cops since I came to this country. Why are you on homicide? Just for the record, do you have a warrant? Do we need one? Well, you came this far without one. Perhaps you'll tell me why. Okay, let's not insult each other's intelligence, okay? Well, Sergeant, mine hasn't been. Where is Ramon Montoya? How should I know? He works for you. Not for months, not since he was arrested for drunk driving. What about Johnny Almendares? Who? It's cute. Very cute. <laughs> yeah, you're not bad yourself. Johnny Almendares. Let me refresh your memory. He's the ex-BATF agent on your payroll. 
Now you are insulting my intelligence. Sergeant, why would I want to cough on my payroll? Why wouldn't you? Hmm? You got something to hide? Not from you, sweetheart. Actually, if you're interested, I'm hiring. No, not interested. No? no. Almanderas and Montoya murdered a man night before last in West Palm. His name was Eric Russell. You want to tell us why? Well, why don't you ask them? Oh, we will. As soon as we can find them. We just thought maybe you would save us a little bit of time and point us in the right direction. And why would I want to do that? Because accessory to murder is a very serious crime. And if Montoya and Almaderas roll on you first, well, then they get the deal. Excuse me. Who said you could leave, huh? You are way out of your league. You should go home before you get hurt. You! Ow! Let me go! Let me fucking go! Let her go, Rita! That, Sergeant, is called assault under color of authority, and it's a class A felony. It's all on videotape, and my lawyer is going to nail you. I am not finished with you yes, yet. Yes, you are. You get out. Sorry about this, Miss Crow. Get out! It feels safer if I throw him. Never did like cops. I hate cops. She blew it. At least you can be sure nobody's gonna be half on you anymore. They already ID'd Ramon and you. Oh, what? Lena. No, what? Lena, you're so beautiful in your bed. <laughs> you suspected Eric was the leak. And you were right. So I took care of him. You weren't supposed to bring down this much heat, Johnny. I thought you liked heat, Lena. I thought you liked heat. I do. I like heat. Yeah. Yeah. In the certain places. Don't worry. We don't need Eric for this deal. We know Eric's buyers. Is right on schedule. How do we know the cops will keep looking? Forget them. As soon as we do this, I'll leave the country for a while. Until things cool down. <laughs> Yes, you do. Everything. Everywhere. Yeah. What the hell is wrong with you? Look, she took a swing at me. You physically tried to block her path, and then when she tried to leave the room, you grabbed her. I would have taken a swing at you, too. She just got to me, that's all. Look, Rita, I understand that you're upset about Eric's murder. I understand you're sick. I understand all that, but Santos and a board of inquiry, they're not going to care. She won't press it. Yeah, what if she does press it? I don't know. I guess I will give the truth a shot. OK. <sighs> Look, Chris, I'm sorry. I know I am not coping very well. The truth is, is that I think I am pregnant with Eric's child. Oh boy. It's too early for the test, but I am never late with my period. I don't know what I'm going to do. What do you want to do? I don't know.
what is it? I'm worried there. I, um, I'm just working on this report. Which would put just about anybody to sleep. It's the first time I've closed my eyes in three days. All right. That's it. I'm taking you home. Why is it that everyone insists that I go home? Things are not any better there. You need some sleep, and I'm not taking no for an answer. Yes. Let's go. Guys, in here, now. This ought to be fun. Yeah. Is there a problem, Captain? No, no, no problem at all. <laughs> oh, me and uh, me and Special Agent Santos here thought you might like to take a little break from your hectic schedule and enjoy a video with us. That's all. Do I detect a little note of sarcasm? Not little at all. Go ahead, roll it. So, want me to run that again for you in slow motion? No, not for my benefit, thank you. Is that what you call treading lightly? Look, I'm sorry, okay? It was a bad day. She pushed first and I shoved back. As a friend, I understand. As a captain, you put my ass in a sling. I'm sorry, Captain. I really am. So, what's next? Suspension, disciplinary action, what? You must be living right. Ms. Krell has elected not to press charges against you or the department. No surprise there. There's some questions that she would hate like hell to answer. It's academic now. As of this morning, I filed under Title 28. This investigation and all of its principles are officially under BATF jurisdiction. Now hold on a second. You're going to take us off this case? Look, I'm a cop too. I know how bad you want to nail these guys. But from here on out, I'm in charge. You don't make a move without my prior say-so, and you don't arrest anybody without me present. Is that clear? Yeah. Good. Captain? One better than I'd hoped. Better than you had any right to expect. Yeah. That's the stakeout team. Lorenzo. All right, uh, have him meet me on tack two and five. Ramon Montoya just showed up at Inky's. Hey, hey, hey! Don't forget to call Santos! neighborhood. Rita. Gonna make it? Yeah, sure. Look, Chris, I've, um, I've made a decision. I'm gonna call it quits. You what? What are you talking about? It started when you got shot and I thought I was gonna lose you. It must have push these feelings down somewhere because they are back. It's like I don't see colors anymore. Everything is gray, and I am so tired of feeling hopeless. You're only hopeless if you give up the fight. Yeah? So maybe I've already lost. No, you're in no position to make that decision. You got too much stuff going on. You think that's going to change in the morning, a week from now, a month from now? No, I don't. Look. I wish I could make what happened to Eric go away, but I can't. Neither can anybody else. But I do know that you are in no position to make choices that are going to affect the rest of your life and mine. We've got something. Here's Johnny. Better page Santos, huh? You wanna live, compadre? I'm hurt. I'm hurting real bad. You got something for the pain, man? I wish I could help you out. 
and they pay me off. I'll take care of myself. That's your problem, Ramon. You're too damn self-sufficient. Lance. Santos. We've got Almendares and Montoya in sight. Westbound on Griffin 900 block. We'll be on tack too. Okay. He's on his way. You really blew it, man. I told you to go after Lorenzo. That cop busted me before. He could identify me. You too. I did it for both of us. Stop, I'm Ramon. You're gonna make me cry. What a world of heat, Don Alina, man. She's pissed. I never seen her like this before. Pay me off, Donnie. I'll get out of town. You'll never see me again. No way, man. You're hurt. They're looking for you. With your arms sick like you are, man, you'll never make it past the airport. What's the deal? The deal is, the game's over, and Lena wants you out of it permanently. I'll get lost, man. I swear. Yeah? And do it. Get out. Run. Don't ever look back. So you can shoot me in the back? No way, Johnny. No, man. Don't go there. It ain't that kind of party. Johnny. <laughs> Come on, man. else had a dance with the Aussie oh yeah I was plundered down under <laughs> hey all the day's work salud hello Rita I'm not sure why I did. To let me explain? Sure. You must have a good reason to have walked out on me without a word, let me think you've been murdered. I couldn't risk anyone knowing that I was alive. Amandaris was in too much danger. It had to be that way. We needed an investigation to confirm that I'd been hit, and it would have worked, too, if Ramon hadn't decided to go after Chris. Right, so you yanked us around like puppets. You ripped my heart out. You almost got my partner killed, and for what? For money? Power? I mean, what? The rush, maybe? I don't know. I'm sorry for what I put you through. I know it doesn't make any sense to you, but I was really desperate. I mean, you and I weren't exactly in great shape, and I was having a lot of money problems. I mean, a lot more than you ever knew. You could have told me. <laughs> well, I had to keep up a good front. I mean, you know me. Besides, you never let me do it. What exactly is it? All right. One day. Johnny Almendares calls me out of the blue. An opportunity of a lifetime, he says. A huge story. So I took it. I mean, I had to. Oh, of course you did. I mean, what's our relationship compared to a good story? <sighs> Rita, it's, it was more than that. I owed Johnny. He stood up for me back at the NYPD when that squad of dirty cops was trying to get me. I owed him my life. Now he needed me. His life was in danger. Almanderas is dirty, Eric. He's been playing you. No, no, no. You're wrong. You're wrong. He's in deep cover. Yeah. So deep his own people don't even know it? Yes. Yes. That's the only way it would work. The director of operations in Washington is the only one who knows about this. Rita, if this weapon sale goes through, there are guys working both sides of the fence at two federal agencies who are going down. I mean, this thing is huge. If it's so big, why do they need you? He needed somebody he could trust. 
somebody from the outside who could pose as a black market drug dealer to set up a deal with the Cartagena cartel, and it worked too. I mean, the deal is set. So why the fake hit? Lena got suspicious. She thought I was bleeding information back to the cops. She told Johnny to get rid of me as a test of his loyalty. You know, you're always the hero of your own story, Eric. I mean, you have a rational explanation for every selfish, rotten thing you do. But it doesn't make me hurt one damn bit less. Read it. Don't! I mean, it don't touch me. What do you want me to say? And say goodbye. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on your way out of my life. Guess what? We picked up Ramon Montoya, and he's saying you ordered a hit in Sergeant Lorenzo. It's his third strike, Pete. What do you think he's going to say? What did you say? He knew Lorenzo had made him, so he went after him on his own. Come on, Johnny. You can't expect us to believe that. Hey, look. This is always about Nell and Lena, right? She's going to be selling several million dollars worth of stolen weapons to the Cartagena cartel. Deal goes down in two hours, guys. I have to be there. That's not looking real good just now. And now, come on, Pete. I'm not going to get another chance like this. Lena Krell's black market deals are financed through black ops. Does that mean anything to you guys? It means you've been reading too many Tom Clancy novels. Hey, man, this is not a joke. This is about government agencies dealing drugs, guns, the whole nine yards. If we can get Lena facing a 30-year federal stretch, she'll deal. She'll give up her contacts on the inside. And that's why my cover had to be so deep. Now, why don't you run along, call the director, and check it out? He'll clear me. I already have. He's confirmed your story. What? Well, you didn't see fit to tell us that until just now. I'm not convinced that the director isn't a victim of a very professional con job. You willing to take that chance, Pete? Hey, Rita. You, uh, you talked to Eric? He did most of the talking. Uh, but you told him? Yeah. Yeah. But you did tell him you were pregnant. My body is of no concern to him anymore. Well, that's a pretty cold shot. I mean, he's the father. No, he is the donor. Look, we got careless one night. I did not protect myself. He can't commit to me. I'm not going to give him another heart to break. We're still on the job here, right? Yeah. So, what if Eric's telling the truth about Montoya and Almendares? Let's move. Oh, I will never figure you out. Even if I live to be 130. Go, 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 go! Gentlemen, we've been snaked. Chris, Chris, hey, I hope you understand. I that. understand. Just... Sit down. Business first. Well, you spoke with the director. I'm in the clear, right? Director backed Almendera. Santos cut him loose to bait Lena. Only when we get there, there's no Lena, no guns, and no Johnny Almendera's. Warehouse on Canal at 4 o'clock, right? How'd you know that? Because <laughs> I set her up. And if the deal didn't go through, it's because something went way wrong. Almendares went after Lena and pulled the plug. No. If nobody showed up at the warehouse, it's because she found out that we set her up. How would that happen? She's connected in the BATF. She's got ears everywhere. If she gets a hold of Johnny, <laughs> he's dead. Santos is checking her place out right now. They didn't find her. She'd go for the guns. It's a race in the hall. I know where they are. Then you'll tell us. Eh, nope. You have information on a crime and- Hey, come on. Look, Chris, save it, will you? Look, I don't know the exact location. It's a shipping dock down by the harbor someplace. I mean, I've been there. I can show you where it is. No, no way. Not a chance. And Johnny's meat. <laughs> you know what I think, Johnny? I think you're trying to buy time. <laughs> it's too bad. I hate to lose a good lover. Oh, hell, Lena. There's always power tools. <laughs> you know, ATF is all over that warehouse. I think I don't know you set me up. Johnny, <clears throat> who in my organization is working with you? Okay. It's Sven here. 
Actually, he's a fed. <laughs> Come on, Johnny, let's get it over with, baby. Okay, okay. Sven, why don't you tell her? <laughs> Sven, go load the truck. Ooh. Johnny, <laughs> did you think the sex would make me blind? Well, hmm? it worked for a while, didn't it, lover? No, no, Lena, Lena, look. Yeah. You're gonna miss me a whole lot, baby. No, no, don't. One thing I want from you. What's that? I wanna watch you die. Drop the gun, Lena. Yeah, you're the one who said life on the edge is the only place to be. I'm a moron. <laughs> Lance, Lorenzo. I nice see you can make it to the party, Santos. I didn't want to cramp your action. Oh. Yeah. Ah, him. Ah. God, that hurts. Ah. Uh, get an ambulance in here. Now. Mm. All right, so that's right. Tomato soup. Cheese sandwiches. I even cut the crust off just, just like. Just like your grandma used to do for you. Yeah. It's so sweet. Oh, yeah. What is it? I, I bet you wish it was a new set of dishes. Go ahead, open it. your guardian angel. I always thought that was you. Never hurts to have a backup. You keep them close to your heart. I do. I see. <sighs> so, I heard you on the phone in there. What's going on? It's good news. I guess Lena's singing so strongly out of Booker at the Met. I guess she's naming names like a who's who in covert operations. That's good. I'm not pregnant, Chris. No. Talked to your doctor earlier. He said that you had something that I can't even pronounce. Endometriosis. It's an infection of the uterus. All the pain of a pregnancy and none of the fun. But he says I'm gonna be okay. Would you have kept the baby? You know, I really like the idea of being a mom. Tell you the truth, I have no idea what I would have done. Uh, Eric called today. He said that he wanted to talk to you. Yeah, well, that's not such a good idea. I'll tell him. Well, I guess it's just me and you again. Mm -hmm. I mean, neither one of us can seem to keep a relationship going for more than five minutes. Excuse me, I take exception to that remark. Well, it was, it was a little longer than five minutes. No, I was thinking that four years seems like a pretty stable relationship to me. Four? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it does. You stay a while? Sure. Thanks. Anytime, partner. 